Hello everyone, this is Arc3 giving you another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and today I want to discuss how to prepare your offense and defense for Grand Arena and I hope this will be helpful for beginners out there who are just starting out and I know this is a bit late but better late than never so let's get to the video and the first thing you want to do is go to the collections uh, but well, go to your collections I mean and then go to the squads tab because here you can set your offense and defense already. So if you notice, I have both 5v5 GAC defenses ready, like the teams I want to place on defense and the teams I want to use on offense. This is important because this will like organize yourselves what teams you want to put on defense and what teams you want to use on offense. But I know that the situation changes depending who your opponent is, but this like tool in the game can be very useful when you're like planning out what you want to put on defense and what you want to use on offense. Like even before the Grand Arena phase starts, you already should be thinking like what teams I can use to take banners away from my opponent, but at the same time, give myself the maximum banners that I can get when I'm on offense. So that's tip number one. Now for tip number two, this is very important. So we go to our Grand Arena uh, setting now and I want to give a big shout out to Spider, Dark Lord Spider right here because I will be using him right now and as you can see this is the Grand Arena loadout but before we put our defense so we click on my opponent's profile and then by clicking it it will immediately show you his inventory, his stats his, and of course his general profile so what you want to do in scouting is of course um, check his inventory for characters and here you can see all that he has um, ready for you and this is very important because knowing your enemy can help you decide what you want to put on defense what you want to put on offense for this opponent i can see that he has three relic sevens um, for his dr squad and by judging on his farming patterns i think he is going for jmk um, Simply because he's relicking Django, he has a relic Fibo Katan, which is needed for um, JMK. Of course, Shakti is relic 5, General Konobis, relic 7. So he has a decent roster. And so next thing you want to know is to sort his like roster in speed because you want to know what his fastest characters are. So for, his, for this case, his fastest character is Darth Revan. And he is rocking at 153 speed now. That is freaking fast. That's really fast. So, and of course, his next best character is Darth Malak, and he's rocking at 113 speed. So he's a really well, well modded, um, DR team. So I have to be careful when placing on defense. And that is how you actually scout your opponent. Well, there are other factors as well as gear levels, um, well, the mods, like I mentioned earlier, but overall, what's important actually to take note is the first 10 rows, I believe, or first 15 rows of your opponent's roster. Because when you're matchmaking in JAC, that's what the algorithm takes into consideration. So that's what you want to look out first. And of course, after that, you can check his ships, but nobody cares about ships. So you can like just gloss over that. And... Yeah, that is tip number two. And lastly, for tip number three, we have to go back to our GAC setting, the one I showed you earlier, because where you place your defense matters in Grand Arena. So one thing to consider is this information button here on your zone. So if you click that, you would see how many banners you will um, earn when you're placing your defense, your offense, and of course, when you counter, I'm sorry, not counter, <laughs> when you conquer the zone. So for this Grand Arena, the most important zone is this zone because it will give you, well, 90 banners each, but at the same time, um, you get 210 banners when you win or you conquer the zone and you have to place three defenses here. And of course, um, the fleet here is also important because when you conquer this, this will give you 186 banners and of course when you set on defense 100 banners but if you win offensively you can get at most 72 but on average 
could be around 64, 66, depending on your um, performance. Normally, you want to protect the upper zone on 5v5, but on 3v3, it will be the defensive zone. I have a video about that somewhere in the top right-hand corner, so you can go check it out when I discussed about 3v3 in a different video. But I digress, let's get back here. You don't have to prioritize the top zone entirely. You can also prioritize the first two zones. So what you want to do is place your hardest defense on the front. However, if you want to bait your opponent, so you can place weak teams on either, well, preferably on the bottom zone so that you can place or hide your defensive teams on the back zone so that you can force your opponent to use immediately like the strongest teams without knowing what you have behind that wall. But that's like high level stuff. But if you're like new into the game, just prioritize the top zone. And of course, if your opponent fails to clear out the top zone, well, top first two top zones, whatever, <laughs> like the two zones on top, guaranteed win already if you do well offensively. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new. And of course, if you enjoyed it, please give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please subscribe because by subscribing, you'll get more in educational and informative content like this. And eventually, I will be live streaming soon once I get the proper setup. So don't miss out on that. And as always, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes gamers and of course, um, players out there, may the force be with you and have a great day.